In this lecture, we are going to solve our problem number 3 on Norton's theorem. So let us read the given problem. The network N contains the resistors and independent sources for resistance R equal to 0 ohm and 2 ohms. The current I is equal to 3 amperes and 1.5 amperes respectively. Now we need to find the current I when R is equal to 1 ohm. So the question is very straightforward. We have three cases. We have three cases given in the question. And when you look at this particular figure, you will find we have a network N across the two terminals of this network resistance R is connected. And uh, through this resistance, current is equal to I. And in case number 1, when R is equal to 0, I is equal to 3 amperes. When R is equal to 0, current I is equal to 3 amperes. Now when you focus on case number 2, you will find when R is equal to 2 ohms, I is equal to 1.5 amperes. Let us now move on to case number 3. When R is equal to 1 ohm, we need to find current I. So this is all about the question and now we will understand how to find current I when R is equal to 1 ohm. We can have the equivalent Norton's circuit for the network N. Because we can see that this resistance is not constant. It is changing its value. So in this scenario, the best thing is to have the Thevenin's equivalent circuit or the Norton's equivalent circuit for this network. We already know this basic point. And uh, I am going to have the Norton's equivalent circuit. You can have the Thevenin's equivalent circuit as well. And uh, we know that in case of Norton's equivalent circuit, we have current source IN in parallel with resistance RN and then they are connected to the load resistance which is R in this case and according to case 3 R is equal to 1 ohm resistance R is equal to 1 ohm and if we can find out value of I n and R n we can have current I as well so let us shift our focus on calculation of I n and R n you can see at this node I n is getting divided and one divided current of I n is I. So I with the help of current divider rule is equal to I n multiplied to R n divided by R n plus R. I will say this is my equation number 1. Now focus on case 1. R is equal to 0. I is equal to 3 amperes. So we will have 3 equal to I n multiplied to Rn divided by Rn because Rn plus 0 will be Rn. So from here we are getting current In which is the Norton's equivalent current equal to 3 amperes. So we have calculated current In. It is equal to 3 amperes. Now with the help of case 2 we will have Rn as well. From case 2 we will have equation 1 as 1.5 equal to I n multiplied to R n divided by R n plus 2. 1.5 we can write as 3 over 2. So we can write this 3 R n plus 6 equal to 2 times I n R n. I n we know is equal to 3 amperes. So we will have 3 R n plus 6 equal to 6 R n. From here we will have R n equal to 2 ohms. So now we have the Norton's equivalent resistance. It is equal to 2 ohms. And with these values current I will be equal to 3 multiplied to 2 divided by 2 plus 1. So from here we will have current I equal to 2 amperes. This is our 
answer. So when R is equal to 1 ohm, I is going to be 2 amperes.